I have filmed this video five times and I just can't get it right. <sighs> Take six. She just wants to be beautiful. She goes. Well, I do not think I've sweated this much in my whole entire life. Hello, beautiful humans. My name is Paige and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for being here. I hope you're doing very, very well. It is super, 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 super hot and I'm sweating. My bollocks off. Don't have bollocks, by the way, but I'm. Um, sweating them off if I did. This is a very overdue video. I've filmed this video four or five times already. I've edited it twice and I've uploaded it three times and neither of those videos have been right. I've put them up and I've looked back at them before I made them live and I was just like, they're not right. They're not how I wanted to say it. But today, for some reason, at five o'clock, on a Wednesday, an hour before England play Croatia for a place in the World Cup final, my brain has gone ding ding ding! You need to do this video now because you're feeling the right frame of mind. Now I just want to say, considering it's the World Cup, to whatever part of my brain decided that, you need to be lobotomised. I mean, Jesus. So today I want to talk to you guys about bisexuality and this is a video, like I've said, that I wanted to make in so long. I just haven't been able to do it right because sexuality is one of those things that is very dividing and I want to make it perfectly clear. I am not aiming to offend anybody in this video. These are just my personal views, my personal thoughts, my personal feelings and my personal opinions on the subject of bisexuality and you don't have to agree with me but if you do want to hear what I have to say on bisexuality then just keep watching this video so let's just say it I'm just gonna say it because I'm bisexual yeah I am bisexual and it's so weird saying that to a camera I don't think I ever have I mean I've not really hidden it if you follow me on any of my social media you've probably clicked that I'm not exactly 100% straight but I've never said it to this channel or to a camera and that's really because I haven't ever felt the need to coming out is a thing that I really have some views on and it really is for another video but I've just never felt the need to kind of declare my sexuality but I feel like this video a good place to start is probably the fact that I am bisexual and very very proud of it and there have been a lot of things that I've noticed in the last kind of year since I've been more open about my sexuality that have started to really bug me about the perception of bisexuality and the way bi people are spoken to and treated and I just want to voice them, give you my opinion, not only as a bisexual person, but as a person. If your sexuality falls into the bracket of non-conforming, if you're looking at the stereotypical social values of a heterosexual couple, then you're gonna get people say stuff to you. I know it's not just bi people, but I can't speak for gay people, I can't speak for lesbians, I can't speak for transgender or pansexual or asexual, or any other beautiful variation of sexuality there is. I can only speak as a bisexual person from what I feel and what I see. And one of the things that specifically gets said to me a lot is, oh, you're, you're bisexual, yeah, oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's pretty trendy to be that nowadays, isn't it? Let me make it perfectly clear to you, boo. Sexuality isn't a fashion statement. It's not like a handbag or a cute pair of shoes that you can chop and change on a daily basis. Sexuality is part of you. It's who you are. It's literally part of your DNA. Sometimes people may one day say that they are heterosexual and they may be actually no I think I may be gay or I think I may be bi. That's not because they're choosing what fits that specific situation. It's because they're learning. Yes I have been with boys and yes I have been with girls and yes do you know what I have experimented to see what I like but that's no different to you as a child going through different phases of hairstyles, going through different phases of makeup to find what's right. Everyone has different phases in their life. They grow up and decide what they like and what feels right and purposeful to them. And it's the same with sexuality. I very, very rarely have met someone who has known they've been a specific sexuality from the moment they're born. And when we're living in a society that tells us we should be one way, we have to question that. And we have to question if the way we're feeling is actually how we're feeling, or if yes, we are just rebelling. The only way we do that is to experience and explore and try different things until we find the one thing that fits us right. As humans, we try different things and we have different periods of expression. And yes, I could have very well easily gone with a girl and thought, nah, do you know what, that's not for me. 
I would then identify as heterosexual. Or I could have gone with a guy and been like, mm -mm, what is that dangly thing? And identified as lesbian. But I didn't. I had both of those experiences. And to me, personally, it didn't matter what was between their legs. What I was attracted to wasn't necessarily based solely on their genitals. Now I know what you're thinking, especially if you are one of those people that believes bisexuality is a trend, is a phase, is a whatever you want to call it. You're sitting there going, yes Paige, we've heard this all before, we've heard bisexual people say this all the time, you can't help who you fancy, blah 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 blah. So, and I can explain bisexuality using one thing, male erections. Yes. Yes, I did say male erections, and hold on, let me explain. How many times have you heard a guy, a friend of yours, or a story of a guy who's got a mistimed erection? Guys go on about it all the time. Even like recently on Love Island, there were boys talking about how they're really trying not to get a boner, but it's so difficult they actually can't control it. Or kids in class realizing their sexual identity, and this thing happens that they have no idea, but more importantly, no control over and this is the thing that guys complain about when they get erections oh it just you know it happened i had no control over it sexual attraction is a biological instinct and that's not just me saying it to prove a point there's actual facts from doctors and medical professionals and articles where you can read up and see that the way your body reacts to a sexual stimulant can't be controlled if i told you right now to think about how you're breathing how deeply you're breathing in and then how you're breathing out. You'd become conscious of it. But before that, it was just something that was happening without you thinking about it. And that's the same as sexual attraction. Unfortunately for you, and pretty good for me, you can't see when I'm sexually aroused. And I'm not gonna tell everybody, guys, guys, got a little bit sexual aroused over the girl by the carrots. Could you imagine how bloody awkward that would be? And from that point of view, you're kinda gonna have to trust me. But how can you sit here and say to me that my body isn't telling me? what I need to know. So do not tell me that you know my body better than I know my body. Because you don't. And I don't see how anyone has the right to be able to tell you how your body is when really you're the only one that's living it. And you know what? If science tells me that I have no control over it, I'm going to believe science over you because, well... Yes, science! Thanks, Jesse. I have been wanting to use that gift for so long, I can't even. The second thing I've noticed in this bisexual life of mine is the reaction from people in the LGBTQ community itself. I can't scientifically justify this. I'm not gonna try and say that you're wrong because everyone deserves their own opinion and by me denying you your opinion is not really gonna make you listen to my opinion more. It's just gonna piss you off, let's be honest. But I do want to make a point. I want to try and find a screenshot of a comment that I saw a girl put on one of the Facebook groups I follow. She was getting told by people in the LGBT community bisexuality was wrong. It was disgusting. It was taking the mick out of the whole community as a whole. And that really saddened me and that really infuriated me. Because as I said at the beginning of this video, whether you're bi, whether you're gay, whether you're lesbian, whether you're trans, pan, ace, whatever if you don't conform then it's likely that you've had some sort of hate or some sort of rejection or some sort of isolation because of it you know what it feels like you know what it feels like for people not to understand how you're feeling and you fought so hard and you're asking people who don't understand but then you're going to someone whose sexuality you don't understand and you're being a hypocrite you're doing exactly what all those assholes did to you just because we don't understand something just because it's not our choice it's not our preference doesn't mean we have a right to say that it's wrong i necessarily wouldn't go for bright green hair but good god did we see ruby rose when she had green hair it was great it was hot and it was her choice. Well, actually, I'm not sure it was because it was for a film, but you know, she agreed to it. And who would I have been to go up to her and go, yeah, shit, it's wrong. And regardless of sexuality, regardless of anything, as human beings, we should have the decency and respect of each other to acknowledge that and just let people be happy. At the end of the day, is it really that big a deal? Does who I fancy really have an impact on any other part of my life? Would you stop watching my videos? Has it changed the way I'm speaking to you or the way that I think or the way that I feel or the things I like or the fancy shirt choices I make in life? No, it's just something that's right for me and something that I like it. 
I like a bit of both. We got the best of both worlds. Mix it all together. That's really dampened the serious point I was trying to make. <laughs> Let's just, just wrap up this video, shall we? I said I was going to give you my true view on bisexuality. My true view, and this isn't coming as a bisexual person. This is coming as a person. Bisexuality might not be you. It might not be your mum, it might not be your friend, it might not be your dad, your neighbour, your uncle, your cat. But I tell you what, it is someone. And just as you can't help being born with blue eyes or brown hair or dark skin or light skin, it's part of somebody. It's not their choice. Because believe me, can I tell you something? If it was a choice, I wouldn't have chosen this. Because when I was realising that I actually fancied girls as well as guys, I just thought, fuck. It's one other thing that makes me different. It's one other thing that separates me from others. I'm already plus size, I'm already in a wheelchair, and I get people ripping the piss out of me all the time for those things. And I don't want sympathy because that just happens and they're just dickheads. But the thought of having one more thing that just stood me out, I wouldn't have chosen it, but I would have been happy if I hadn't have accepted it. And for so long, trying to suppress that made me so unhappy because I wasn't being true to myself. So I didn't choose to be bisexual, but I chose to embrace it. And I'm so, so glad I did. I say on this channel, be your authentic self. And that's all I'm trying to say. If it's you, it's you. If it's not, it's not. But we should all start to accept people for who they are. So guys, that is the video. I hope you did enjoy it. It's a bit different to what I've usually filmed. If you did like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't and you would like to, then why not subscribe? Come and join this ever-growing family. And let me know your opinions down below. Are you one of those people that doesn't really think bisexuality is a thing? Are you bisexual? Are you some sort of beautiful other variety of sexuality? Let me know. Let's get it talking. Let's get it chatting. Let's have a little conversation in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember, I have been me, so please always be you, and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye!